basically just gets ruined. In the winter, it turns into a mud bath. So I've got to replace it with something else. We tried these log stepping stones, but they didn't work very well because they got too slippy over the winter. So I need something else. I know what I need now, but I've got to travel to find it. My journey took me to the Shetland Islands, Britain's most remote island group lying some 250 miles north of Aberdeen. There are over 100 islands, but only 15 are inhabited. I went to meet some children who live in nesting. It's pretty quiet. There's a lot of wildlife too, and you can go on lying wax around the countryside. You see quite a lot of birds, uh, gulls, and occasional water and some seals. It is quite remote. We do have quite a lot of animals, as Gary said, and there's quite a lot of freedom you can get to. There is still some pollution, but it's not as much. Because if you're living in a city, then there'd be a lot of pollution for cars and busy traffic and stuff. You get very strong winds too. The Shetland is the windiest place in the UK. The remoteness of the islands poses a big problem. What to do with the waste? The Shetlands have their own recycling plant, which converts almost all of the island's rubbish into energy, and this goes to produce hot water. But it doesn't solve all of their waste problems, the biggest of which is glass. At least a 1,000 tonnes of glass is brought to the Shetlands every year. Now, that's a lot of glass. And in the past, it used to be dumped in landfill sites because it was too expensive to take it anywhere else to process it. So another solution had to be found. And that's where my path comes in. Now the glass is recycled on the islands. An award-winning project developed by a company called Decocrete came up with a way to turn the glass into a very good quality sand. This can be mixed with other materials to make concrete, ideal for building things like garden paths. Many of the islanders, including schoolchildren, wrote to the council asking to have bottle banks in their towns, like the one outside South Nesting Primary School. What do you think about recycling? Well, it's really important because um, they have bottle banks because um, there's lots of glass and if we bury it, it gets all rubbish of the land. All over the island, bottles are put into bottle banks and they're collected every other day. Bottles are brought into the workshop, dumped into this hopper, from which they drop down onto a conveyor belt and into the crusher. The crushing machine was imported from Germany. It produces a special kind of sand which can be used for all sorts of building work. The crushed glass is taken from the workshop to a local quarry, where it's mixed and turned into concrete. Then it can be dyed and patterned. I just had to choose the right one. Hmm. Well, I've been looking through all the different designs, all these and all these. After careful consideration, I think that this one is the one for the Blue Peter Garden. Back in the garden, the old path was dug up and the new one measured out and prepared for the concrete. We've been so unlucky with the weather. It's been raining continuously for the past 24 hours. And as you can't lay concrete in the rain, we've had to erect all these tents and bits of plastic to try and keep the rain off so that the concrete can dry a bit before the next stage. Once the concrete is laid down, the colour is added. First a red powder, which is the brick colour, and then a grey one, which makes the surface harder and makes it look like it's always been there. Then this is the best bit, 
These mats are laid onto the concrete like that and then tamped into place. and lift it off very carefully to reveal the brick pattern that I chose in the Shetlands. Now I've just got to wait for it to dry. Can't Come wait on. to see it. Let's check it out. Oh, oh, hey. Like it. Do you like it? Yeah, Super definitely. Right. You have been Good. battened against the weather we today. I know, it's been bad. It's been appalling. It's just raining non-stop. Mm. So we haven't quite finished it. I mean, it needs a wash down and a brush up, and then it'll look more red in colour. It'll look oh, like a red grey. brick path. Oh, no, nice. Not grey anymore. But when can we walk on it, then? I have to wait till next week for that. Next week? Can't wait. <laughs> oh, what a great path. Yep. Brilliant, like isn't that. it? Yeah. It's better than the old locks. <laughs>